been getting a lot of questions about my last video where I used an effect on Peter's cap to make his logo flash or light up. And this effect is often referred here on YouTube as the scribble effect. And I know there are some tutorials on YouTube on it, but since you guys asked, you shall receive. So let's just jump into After Effects and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so let's get started. So in Premiere Pro, we have the clip we want to use for our scribble effect. And for the video's sake, I'm thinking we're doing something simple, just like crosses in the glasses or something like that. So what you want to do, you want to right click the clip and then go to replace with After Effects composition. Now that we're in After Effects, we want to select the layer and hit Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. And then you want to go up to the tools and select Brush Tool. So now let's go over to the settings and you can change the diameter to the brush size of your liking. But the most important thing is that you have the mode on normal and duration on single frame. So once we're done with that, you want to go to the point of the clip where you want your effect to start. Just zoom. Yeah, we're gonna do some crosses. So double click on the top layer and you're ready to go to draw some crosses or whatever you want. Now I'm using page up and page down keys to skip a frame ahead or skip a frame back. So what you wanna do, you wanna draw on every single frame from now on. So hit page down to scroll through your timeline and just draw the next step. So basically you're just making an animation by drawing on every single frame. And if you really want the scribble effect, it doesn't have to be neat. And a few more. And let's play it back. So now you can already see the animation. If you want, you can take your time with it and do all kinds of crazy stuff like having the glasses light up or making things come out of the nose or whatever. These lines are a bit blend, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to effects and presets and we're gonna type in glow. And then we're gonna drag the glow effect onto our top layer. So as you can see, the glow effect is on the entire clip and we only want it on the drawn things. So you go over to paint on transparent and check the little box and voila. You can play around with the different settings here, for example, the glow radius and the glow intensity to give it a little bit more glow or do whatever you want with it. Now we're going to go back to our composition and you can see the whole glow effect working. And we just did it fairly simply. You can go all kinds of directions with this. I mean, you can be very precise. If you have a drawing tablet, you can make crazy things. Play around with the colors, more effects to it. But basically what it is, it's just an animation drawn on every single frame. And if you're happy with your results, you're gonna hit Control S to save the composition and go back to Premiere Pro and there it is. Bada bing, bada boom, done. And it's that easy. And for the Peter Lingard logo, I just put the glow intensity way up, change the color of the brush, and put some sound effects on it to really sell the effect. Now, if you've used the Final Cut Pro, I know Daniel Shiver has a video on it, and we're about to hit 400 subscribers, so feel free to join me here on YouTube, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.